Snappers is Jordan with the Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Emerald Little Lag Poke Analog Season 3. Today we are picking up more or less where we left off, uh, but I had a great run at the casino and I have now bought. No, this 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 joke's not gonna pay off. That took too long. I was gonna say I bought all of these TMs. Uh, I went I went and got the coin purse. Um, and I was like I looked up the list. I was like, oh, we've got Thunderbolt and Flamethrower and Ice Beam. Those would all be super useful for me to have. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I bought 50 coins because I don't have a lot of money. Um, and now I you saw there I've got 30 coins. <laughs> I, I don't have the, the time or the patience for this. Uh, let's let's put let's put a coin on yellow. Boom, baby! Three coins! It's a hit! Alright, maybe we're just gonna spend the rest of the episode doing this. No, no, we're not. We're not gonna do that. But, um, I have bought nothing. Because <laughs> it's just... It's, I don't have, Usually when I do these things, I just, like, spend the money to buy coins to get what I need. But they want too many coins. It, the exchange rate is not nowhere near where we're gonna be able to do anything with it. Um, but, since last time, I have cleaned up pretty much all around this area. Um... I think we battled pretty much everyone over here on our own. I did open up the tunnel to uh, Rustboro, I think, so I did that. Um, I went east of Mauville, and I took care of all these people over here, over by the water. I took care of these trainers, um, and I also did the, the bike path. So, cleaned up all that, just basic boring trainer stuff, nothing really too exciting there. Um, but we are going, and in fact, so the girl who had it, you guys, you guys told me about this in the comments, so, um, let me explain. So the girl next door who had the coin case is this girl, who said nothing about any coin case, but apparently she says if I had a bike I could buy her harbor mail. And so if you go buy her harbor mail, she's like, oh, here, I'll give you this coin case in exchange for that. And it's like, well, oh, come on. So... Yeah, <clears throat> that was stupid. Um, but we are now going to be continuing north. We have pretty much finished with everything down here, and we're going to be moving on up. All right, this looks like a double battle. Let us let's see. Um, I switched. I took um, I took Bluebell off the team because I wanted to get Kehar back, especially because we're heading into a desert and fire and all that kind of stuff. Our water type would probably be useful. Um, and because we're heading into a desert and stuff, I figured probably our electric types not going to be all that useful. Although, we're, well, we're not going into the desert today. I'm not sure why I'm thinking that, because we don't have the Go Goggles or anything. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it was it was either Bertha or Bluebell coming off. I was like, well, we'll keep Bertha around. Uh, in fact, let's, uh, let's switch Bertha up. Uh, and let's put Yuka up here, too. And just see, figure, eh, that'll be probably be close enough for uh, coverage. We'll see what we're doing there. Uh, thank you guys so much, in fact, for your feedback on where the heart, where the coin case was, um, and on what I should do with my uh, electric TMs and things like that. Uh, okay, perfect. Let's see here. Um, all right, <clears throat> we're gonna fake out the Roselia because that could actually do something. Whereas Sancho is worthless. Um, and poor Sandshrew, he's such a cute little Pokemon, and Sandslash is awesome, And but neither of them- Oh, come on, really? You could twice? Twice the minimum? Um, ooh, ouch. Uh, but unfortunately, Sandshrew and Sandslash, literally, their ever level up movesets are garbage until, like, black and white, too. And they finally, like, can learn a ground move, like, they finally get stabbed via level up, which is, like, the first time that they've done that. Um, uh, alright, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, I guess tackle, but on the Rosalia. And we'll just quick attack the Sand Shrew. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but, yeah, what was I, what was I saying? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you guys are giving great feedback. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry, I streamed a lot yesterday. Yesterday, uh, well, as I'm recording this, on Wednesday was my birthday, and so I, I had my all-day bir birthday stream, and so I was streaming for, like, seven or eight hours or something like that. Uh, and so, yeah, my, my little, uh, Fried still. Oh my, that was too much excitement. Um, but, uh, but yeah, alright. Uh, well, let's run back and heal this real quick since we're like literally right around the corner. Um, but yeah, you guys give me great feedback what to do with the TMs and stuff. And, uh, I actually, uh, I think it was, I think it was SCAD. No, no, it was Addy. It was Addy. Um, 
Sorry, I got a lot of comments on last episode. Um, not that I'm good with remembering who tells me stuff anyway, but uh, it was Addie who was like, yeah, you should probably give that to Bluebell because, you know, uh, uh, Stab, and also Ralts is just garbage. And I was like, what? Because I'm thinking like, oh, Gardevoir is amazing, so sure, Ralts will be good in terms of Little Cut, but like, almost every Pokemon, like, Ralts has such garbage stats. Like, almost every Pokemon I have is, um, <clears throat> ooh, Numel's not great, um, let's do Kehar, um, oop, no, that's wrong, Bertha is gonna fake out the Numel, and then Yuka will switch out for Kehar, there we go, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I mean, Yuka's got, like, Every base stat of Yuka's is like double whatever Ralts has, and like it just several. The, it's like it's just even compared to other first stage Pokemon, Ralts has garbage stats, which I mean I guess makes sense. It's supposed to evolve. It's supposed to, you know you're supposed to <laughs> you're not supposed to keep it as a Ralts forever. Um, actually wait no um, that's wasting Bertha. Let's do that and then um, do that? no hold on hold on what am I doing here I'm. Um, <clears throat> Bertha, yes. Kill the Numel. Okay. There we go. Strategizing here is, uh, there we go. I was gonna say, the Numel is way scarier than that Shroomish. We need to get that thing off the field. Uh, but yeah, so, as exciting as it was to get Tam, probably not gonna be, like, the longest term teammate. Just, just because if any Little Cut Pokemon, or Little, little Like Pokemon is going to get outclassed, it's gonna be Tam. So we might need to be on the lookout for another special attacker that maybe can pick up some psychic moves. I don't know if Spoink is available. I feel like we can get Spoink on Jagged Pass, but Jagged Pass is one of our forfeited routes. I don't know if there's other places we could get Spoink, but if we can get somebody else who might be able to give us that psychic coverage, that's probably not going to be the worst idea ever, just because Tam really isn't going to be able to keep up with the... I mean, let's, let's just even look at what his actual stats are now. So, like, attack is 25, special attack 31... I mean, I don't know. It's just so much lower than everybody else on average. I mean, some of these stats aren't so bad, but I don't know. I just, I don't think he's going to be able to keep pace. Wingle's not looking too hot itself. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But looking on Smogon and looking at their stats, it's like, ooh, hello. Um, so, anyway, all right. <clears throat> Let's take on the win straights here. Knock these guys out. Probably... I mean, my goal today is to get through this route, get through the Fiery Pass, or whatever that one's called. Um, okay, let's fake out. Taylor flinched? Aw, oh, berries, come on, man. Alright, um, Churchill. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, to get to the Fiery Pass, I, I don't even think we're probably going to make it to... Uh, is it Falaber Town or wherever, wherever uh, uh, Flannery is? But we'll probably do that next episode. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, we're just now at the Wind Straits. And, uh, okay, Zigzagoon, we will bring Bertha back in. And we're already, <laughs> like, eight minutes into this episode. So, uh, yeah. But we do have potentially a couple of catches today. I don't think... I think the Vital Pass is the only one... Uh, the only forfeited route we're coming up on today, so um, probably we'll have at least a, two or three catches today. Could be, uh, could be real exciting. Now I think the only um, the only catch we could potentially get on this route is like from Rock Smash. I don't think there's any actual grass on this route, so it'll be a it'll be a Geo Dude or something, which won't be exciting, but um, it'll be you know we'll, we'll get it. Um, oh my goodness, aren't you young? I must be quite the traitor to bring my husband, though. It might turn to battle now. Um, but then we could potentially get, like, a new mole or something up on the next route. And then the Fiery Pass. Uh, I think Slugmas and Coughings and Machops and um, Torkoal even, potentially, which is exciting. So, yeah, I mean, we got lots of interesting options coming up today. We've got a good fire type. Um, <clears throat> but... Uh, Never say no to bulk, so if we could get a coughing or a Torkoal, that'd be awesome. Um, I don't know what chat the Machop stats look like compared to Makuhita's, but I uh, um, wouldn't say no to, to another fighting type just as a backup necessarily. Uh, Alright, let's do the Vital Throw. It's uh, Roselia's Poison, so this really isn't 
worthwhile. Oh, okay. Well, it worked. I'll take it. Uh, I did do a tiny bit of grinding. Everybody was like 21 to 24 or whatever. And I was like, all right, I'll cap everybody off around level 25. And I think that Watson's ace was 24 or something like that. So it's really not over leveled at all. Uh, you're stronger than mommy. Wow. But I'm strong too. All right. Let's see what she's got. Three Pokemon here. Meryl. All right, uh, Bertha's about to level, so we'll uh, we'll get her out of here. Uh, finish off Meryl first. Boom, baby! All right, nice. Bertha gains spear. Ooh, not enough to level. Uh, but we will switch. Let's get Bonnie out here. Bonnie learned Bite finally. So I, I went ahead and just got rid of Thief. Uh, Bite was just a better Thief, and and Bonnie's got. I've got the black glasses on her. I went and found the black glasses. Um, so she, Thief, what she wasn't going to actually get any items from Thief, so yeah, there was no point in keeping that. So we got rid of it. Uh, she now knows Bite, which I think has a better flinch or crit chance or something like that. Uh, Numel, bring Kehar back in. Um, so, oh, one of the things that a lot of people talked about uh, last time as well. So, um, now last episode was recorded before, um, so last episode was what, level episode 7? Yeah, so last episode was episode, this is episode 8. Uh, so episode 7 was recorded before episode 6 went live. So I was talking about uh, what should I do about evolutions and stuff like that and all that. Um, on episode 6, Addy uh, was like, hey, you know, I, I know how we can probably go in and turn off all these evolutions in the in the hacking stuff. We could totally do that if you need help, let me know, sort of thing. And and, uh, <clears throat> and so he said that before, after I had already recorded episode 7, which is when we actually talked about the evolution stuff. Um, and several of you guys gave me some pretty good feedback on this one as well. A lot of people uh, recommending that, hey, why don't we just hack in some Everstones and things like that. Um, <clears throat> we could totally do that and that'd be really easy. Uh, I think we have an Everstone on Eartha right now? Somebody has it. Uh, I think uh, Bonnie had been holding it. Uh, and then I uh, I'll detect... Grandma, grandma with the strats. Um, all right. Uh, okay, hard. Um, so uh, a lot of people suggesting that we've got an Everstone. We could do that, um, but I I, I don't want to like take away the ability for Pokemon to have actual useful held items just to do that. Um, because honestly, if it comes down to that. I, I, I want to just say, okay, evolution is, you know, avoiding evolution is part of the challenge of this run. If I, like, like I think I even said this last time, if, if like, I accidentally let Kehar evolve, oops, sorry, Kehar's gone, sort of thing, like, I, I don't know, I just feel like, <clears throat> it, 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 that, it, I either want to hack it so that evolution just doesn't happen, or I, I want to just be like, say, okay, this is part of the run, if you let somebody evolve, that's your own problem, sort of thing. Like, Bertha's gonna try and evolve right here. I can't let Bertha do that. If I do, then there goes... Bertha. Huh. Bertha should have tried to evolve. Weird. Uh, I'm gonna run back real quick. And, uh... Oh my goodness, speed up way too fast. Here we go. Um, and we're gonna heal, and then we'll go talk to the Winstrate clan... Bertha, I've kind of sworn. Bur oh no, because I put the Everstone on Bertha. Duh, right. <laughs> uh, I just finished saying that. Uh, there's no question you're strong. We found my grandson. Um, I think that their grand their grandson isn't Stephen, because uh, obviously we know Stephen's dad is uh, Devon Corp. Uh, this the Vermont State family. I think it's just like some random ace trainer. It's supposed to be some random ace trainer in the Victor Road or something. Um. But uh, he, he's obviously much stronger than they are, I guess, if he's made it to Victory Road, and I can beat them after three badges, so um, there is that, I suppose. All right, I, I don't even remember what she gave me, but we're going to move Bertha out. Uh, let's actually move Yuka up. I haven't seen a ton of Yuka. Are you a trainer? Shannon's Wish Family? No, nope, they destroyed you. Wait, what is this? This is new. Uh, trainer Hill Entrance. Scale the heights. You hope This is like Battle Tower? What is this? <clears throat> Never seen this before. Heard tough trainers come to this trainer hill from all over. I can't wait to test the waters. I'll not excite anyone that stands in my way. Do you know when they're opening this place? Oh, because it's not open. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, welcome to my survey. Okay, there. Well, hold on. Um, do you guys sell anything interesting? How many super potions do I have? 11. Let's buy four more just to be safe. 
Uh, all right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Time board. This is Trainer Hill, where you may enjoy tag battles with many trainers. Unfortunately, we're still getting... Okay, so this is not something we need to examine right now. Perfect. Great. Um, all right, so heading up here, then. Uh, we need to... Ooh, 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 ooh. We need a rock smash to get through. If we encounter something, this will be our encounter for the roots. But we do not. Uh, in fact, let's look at the Pokenav. Where are we? Route 111. All right. <clears throat> Good to know. I don't think we've done Route 111 yet. I don't think it, like, expands south of Mauville or anything. Uh, uh, far stronger than Gym Leader. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so these guys. I think they've got a Magnemite. And... Let's, I'm going to put Bonnie up front. All right. Hey, look there. Tough looking trader of all places. Camera's rolling. All right. Let's see. I think... I, I know they've got a Magnemite. Oh, Loudred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then good. This is the perfect combo to have. That's right. Or Wismer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because... Because uh, Bonnie can do that. And Bertha can do that. Beautiful. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Bonnie experience. Bertha lose arm thrust. Beautiful. Look at these two go. Fantastic. <clears throat> Alright. Easy enough. Gabby and Ty. We've actually been seeing these two uh, in... Uh, Pokemon Insurgents. Pokemon Insurgents. I don't know if it's actually Gabby and Ty, but it's basically the same two guys uh, working at the uh, broadcast tower there and giving us uh, shoot up. Would you like to spend time for an interview? Nah. Okay, but don't give up. I don't. I just don't see the need in that. Um, Bonnie's up front, right? Not Bertha. I think so. Um, but yeah, they've been uh, giving us tasks to go find Delta Pokemon and stuff, which has been exciting. Um, if you guys haven't watched the uh, the VODs of those that I've uploaded from that series, the Pokemon Insurgents one, I would check it out. It, it's just a fun game to sit and, and watch. Um, and, you know, I, I get that the VODs are a little long and all that, but um, <clears throat> it's, I don't know, it's just kind of put it on in the background. It's just a cool little game. Um, and I'm not even saying, because I don't care about the views in the slightest. It's just, it's a very cool fan game. At the very least, if you guys can't make a stream or you don't want to watch the VODs, pick up the game. I can't recommend enough that you guys pick up Pokemon Insurgents and play that one. It's maybe the same people who did um, Pokemon Omicron, which I played on the channel for the first little lock, actually. The first little lock I did in Pokemon Omicron. Uh, and it's made by the same people. Um, and it's, it's just a great little game. Um, they do, they have what's called Delta Pokemon, which are basically just Alolan forms. It's, you know, existing Pokemon, but with all different, you know, appearances and types and all that. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. You guys really got to check it out uh, if you have not done so already. Uh, Bonnie is still up front. I thought I put you, I guess I switched mid-battle. Um, <clears throat> bring Yuka back out. Finish off the Sand True. I did teach Rock Smash to Yuka, which actually um, proved to be immediately useful um, because when I did the cycling road, I had Yuka up front, and uh, why, 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 why you do? Um, I had Yuka up front, and like pretty much everybody. Oh come on, Yuka! What? Hitting twice is just not acceptable. Um, and like almost everybody on the cycling road had nothing but Magnemites, and so I had you up front, and so the uh, it really helped for the Steel types there. Obviously, it's a garbage move, but I didn't. I don't think Yuka's really gonna get like access to a lot of awesome moves, uh, and so I kind of just was like, all right, well, we'll just not do that then. All right, Route 12. So we had no encounter on that previous route. We may at some point come back and just rock smash like crazy. Uh, we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> now, who do we? have who could potentially be useful for catching really don't have any like status i mean we could run back and get bluebell i guess but um honestly let's put churchill up front uh because churchill's got bind and tackle and all of that um all right let's do let's do our catch first okay <clears throat> We've got a Numel. We've already got fire and ground types, but um, Numel can mine it into one, so it won't be the worst thing to have around um, if we need to get more people on the team or something. Uh, and we need, we're like, all right, Bonnie and Churchill, you guys sit out. We're going to bring Numel along to kind of fill both your roles. Uh, we could potentially do that at some point. Let's throw up a tackle. I think that'll be okay. Not very effective. Um... Ugh, if we crit, he's dead. Um, let's try bind. Okay. Ah, but he's gonna take more damage from that, isn't he? Okay, but not a ton. Um, 
We should be able to catch him here. Let's go ahead and use... Let's just use a Great Ball, just to get it done. No multiple Pokemon, I can definitely see it's using if and when that ever needs to happen, so I uh, don't want to risk killing it. Okay, gotcha. Numo was caught. Uh, Numo stores boiling magma in the hump on its back. It is a hardy Pokemon that can transport a 220 pound load. It has served humans at work since long ago. All right. <clears throat> Give a nickname to catch your Numo. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if I've used this before or not, but I generally like to name my, my Numo's Gobi, uh, which is, of course, after the Gobi Desert, because uh, Numo's are kind of like camels. Um, but actually, it's. It's actually named after a character from the Banjo-Kazooie series, which was a camel named Gobi. Um, but obviously that camel was named after the Gobi Desert itself, so uh, still still fits. Um, Alright, Churchill did go to work. Uh, who haven't we really seen? Uh, I guess Tam is the only one we haven't really seen. And, well, we haven't really seen Churchill much either. Let's let Churchill do this. I trust him better to handle this uh, this battle than, uh, than I trust Tam to. <clears throat> Although Nuzleaf... That's a little rough. I don't know that Nuzleaf actually knows... Like, I don't think Nuzleaf learns a lot of grass moves, but, uh... uh yeah, we'll switch. Um, let's bring in Bonnie. Ooh, zzz, zzz. <laughs> we've, we've been joking around, uh, me and a couple of viewers, uh, and, and just in the episodes and stuff, about uh, Bonnie and Churchill always having each other's backs and things like that, and how Churchill's got an eye for Bonnie and all that kind of stuff, and... Uh, how Churchill's uh, wife, Clementine, uh, who is also a dark type, Churchill's wife from the wedlock is a uh, Umbreon, uh, and so she's all upset that Churchill's over here, one, acting the fool by being all uh, uh, disobedient to me, but then also he's got his eye on all of our little lady, younger women uh, dark types uh, that are hanging out over here. <laughs> and Owen's like, Bonnie, which obviously she knows Bonnie from, from the wedlock, but uh, then we had Obi, who's unfortunately died, and, and all that kind of stuff, so, um, yeah. I, there was, I'll pop it up here on the screen, but I, I, I we were, I think Talon had made some comment about it in the, uh, on one of the videos, and I, I just got inspired, I went and made this, uh, the meme where, like, the boyfriend's walking by, and he turns around, and he's looking at this other girl who's walking past while he's holding his girlfriend's hand, and she's giving him this really, uh, you know, upset look. Uh, yeah, I, I, I made a, um, I made a meme, I copy and pasted, uh, Pokemon heads. <laughs> anyway, that's stupid, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the interpersonal, uh, play happening here is, uh, is interesting. Churchill and Bonnie are definitely, uh, kind of cores of this team, and they, uh, oftentimes will do double battles and stuff together, so how that impacts his relationship with his, uh, older, more jealous, dark-type wife back on Lombre, um, bring Kehar in. All right, KR, you got it, buddy. <clears throat> Ombre, wing attack. Boom, baby. All right, fantastic. Looking good. Uh, player defeated Picnic or Carol. You're so strong. Uh, all right. Okay, so we did the catch. Uh, this guy this looks like a hiker. Let's switch Yuka up. Save ourselves the trouble. Take care of these guys, and then we'll head in to the uh, Fiery Pass, or whatever it's called, um, and uh, I don't think inside is Jagged Pass. I think Jagged Pass is the hill that you, like, run down to get to uh, that other city, um, where, like, the Splunks and stuff are. So, that one is forfeited, and we will have to keep that in mind, because we are kind of in that immediate area now, uh, but, but I think for today, I don't think we're going to be getting there, so, because uh, I think that's once you head up the gondola up to the top of the cliff, and, uh, Yuka's trying to look- Ooh! Mega Drain! Oh, uh, well, see, here's the problem. I got rid of... Yeah... Pursuit? Pursuit's garbage. We're gonna get rid of that. I got rid of Absorb, because it's like, well, I'm not really using Absorb, I'm using Bullet Punch, uh, or Bullet Seed, but... <clears throat> Mega Drain we definitely want to have. Uh, Hager Train is about to send in Judo. Will we change? Nope. In fact, let's go ahead and Mega Drain Geodude. Get our health back up to full before we head into the mountain here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good work, Yuka. Well, eventually, I need to figure out where the move the leader is. We may even come across him at some point, or come across his area at some point already. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, I don't think Yuka's going to learn anything else interesting for a little while now. So, uh, oh, all right. Pokenavs, great. Uh, okay, uh, well, let's take care of, uh, yeah, we got another hiker here, potentially. Um, and then we gotta get Yuka off the front, because we're coming up against pretty much 
uh, fire poison types sort of thing, so not really good matches for you. Oh, well, this isn't really a good match either. Let's bring Kehar in. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot in this mountain that uh, could potentially be useful to us. Um, I'd be exceptionally happy with either a Torkoal or a, um, a Coughing, just because of the additional bulk that those two would add. Obviously, I've had really good luck with uh, Fumesy, my Coughing, and Little Cup. Um, and so, uh, it would be... I've, I've already looked at, like, the level up movesets and stuff. We can... While, well, while it's possible to build a Fumesy uh, adjacent Pokemon in this generation, um, unfortunately, it's all done via egg moves and stuff like that. So there's really no hope of us getting, you know, Fumesy and his full capability in this run, uh, just because we can't we can't do all that breeding and stuff, generally speaking. Um, but uh, it, it still wouldn't hurt to have some of that natural bulk and resistance available to us. Now, um. I'm going to switch Churchill back up front, I think. Uh, we'll head in here. All right, so Fiery Path. Okay, good. So, yes, this is not a forfeited area. Let's go ahead and see... Numel. All right, so that is going to be our first dupe clause, because obviously we just caught Numel out on Route 112. So we'll uh, head out. Let's see, is this a... Uh... How do we... Yeah, down here we could just sprint. There we go. Torkoal. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, coughing probably would have been my top choice just because he offers new typings. Um, but Torkoal is a single stage Pokemon that is eligible for use in the Little Cup uh, or in the Little Lock, and uh, obviously not eligible for use in Little Cup. Um, but our rules are slightly adapted. Um, so, like with Minin, he is a catch or she she would be a catchable Pokemon. Um. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Well, she's got pretty good defenses, so let's throw a tackle at her just to measure what that's looking like. Oh, yeah. Smoke screen will be obnoxious. But we'll get to chip a little bit here. Smog is going to poison us, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just a garbage move. Okay, good to know. Um, so, again, we already have Bonnie, so a pure fire type really isn't that useful, but for sure as a backup... Um, and obviously probably Numel gets used before Torquil even, uh, but that all being said, um, as a backup, especially if we lose a couple of Pokemon or we get wiped at some point, having the bulk of a Torquil on hand is not going to be something we're going to be upset about. So, okay, easy peasy. All right, we got it. Uh, Torquil's day was added to the Pokedex. Uh, coal Pokemon. It battles using energy it gets from burning coal. When loosing smoke from its nostrils, it lets off a sound that is similar to a locomotive's horn. Interesting. Give a name to Catcher Torquil. Yep. Uh, we are going to name her... Well, obviously, since it's a lady, I'm actually going to name her Fluffy. Um, after my, uh, my, uh, my tortoise who died last year. Uh, Fluffy, well, who you guys all knew as Fluffy, um, and she was a little lady tortoise as well, so we'll do that in honor of, uh, of Fluffy. There we go. It was transferred to someone's PC. It was placed in box one. All right. There we go. I, if, if our next encounter is coughing, I'll be a little upset. No, Slugma. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted Slugma for sure. Um, I don't think that would have added anything to our team, probably. Uh, Torkoal will at least give us the, that single stage stat boost. Um, and, uh, if we use it on the team, we'll be, yeah, see, eh, my chops. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure, I know you can get coughings in here, I'm not sure what the, uh, I'm not sure what the percentages are on all of this stuff, though, so, um, yeah, obviously, even, uh, even with a couple of different clauses, we weren't, uh, <laughs> wouldn't have probably found coughing. Come on, just give me, give me one. I just want to see it, just for the sake of it. There it is, there's the coughing. That would have been probably my ideal choice. Uh, I don't know if we can get coughing anywhere else. I should look into that. Um, I knew we could get it here. Um, and it would have it would have, it would have been cool, since we can't have boots, it would have been cool to have Fumesy on the team. But uh, again, it, we, we couldn't have really had Fumesy, because we can't get Will-O-Wisp, we can't get Pain Split, we can't get, like, really any of the moves that Fumesy uses to do what Fumesy does. Uh, we couldn't really get access to those. So it would have just been just relying on the natural bulk of coughings. Um, still would have been cool. Still really cool, but that's all right. It's a nice lag. We don't get a say in what we get. So uh, Churchill's hurt by poison. All right, Churchill, just uh, finish off the coughing here, please. There we go. Alrighty, and I do believe we have antidotes. 
Yep. Oh, we got a ton of them. Wow, we stocked up at some point. Alrighty. Well, there we go. There we go. And actually, uh, okay, so this is Route 112 again, so we can't catch anything here. That actually brings us to the 30 minute mark. So what we're probably going to do is call it here for today. Um, and uh, and we'll pick back up here next time, uh, battling all the, you know those trainers and doing the catches and everything. That looks like it's uh, pretty much extended our time uh, past what we... Uh, would normally want to do in the last couple of episodes have been over 30 minutes and I don't really want to do that generally speaking so I'm gonna call it here uh, and stop rambling so that it's actually uh, actually is under 30 minutes or, or close to it so thank you guys so much for watching uh, a couple of exciting catches today Numo and Torkoal are, are very solid catches to our roster they may not see a lot of use um, but uh, they will definitely probably see some use at some point uh, especially like I could see, like, going into Norman's gym, that's going to be scary. The extra bulk of Torkoal or something might not be the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't know. There's probably a lot of instances where those two Pokemon may potentially see some use. Or instances, like I said before, like, okay, Numo kind of covers both Churchill and Bonnie, at least with type coverage. Um, and Numo's going to actually learn some grand moves, I think, so that'll be nice, too. Um, so if we have a point where, like, okay, I need to have, you know, these five Pokemon... I uh, really can't have both Churchill and Bonnie. We can take both of them off, get other Pokemon we need, and have Noom will cover those weaknesses at least for a short period of time. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Thank you guys so much for your feedback in the last episode. Uh, and uh, I'm going to call it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Turtle the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, and subscribes for more, guys. And I will see you all back here next time. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.